Okay, masculine is the Knight of Cups and the King of Cups. So these upper cards, I, I want to clarify, are the conscious above ground energy that you're aware of. And these are subconscious, um, more maybe deeply held beliefs underneath the surface, perhaps that you're not aware of. And in the process of becoming aware of, I just wanted to say that. So Knight of Cups, masculine is moving towards the feminine in March. And I feel like she is willing to receive this offer of love. Yay. He wants to do it in a way, Pisces, that is perfect. Not perfect in the sense of perfection, but perfect for the situation, perfect for you. And I feel like there's been some intention and attention in the way that he's either dealing with himself, I think both dealing with himself and pre how he's presenting himself to you. And I don't necessarily feel like it's like this faux act that he's putting on, but he, he really wants to be his communications clear and concise and precise. Like he wants to say what he means and mean what he says and come from the heart. So whatever work the masculine has been doing is starting to pay off. And I feel like the feminine recognizes this and she's willing to receive his offer of love and his communication. So I want to see the energies for the feminine first. <clears throat> so the page of wands, it could be a little bit of stubbornness on your part, feminine. A little bit that that may not be very apparent to you that you want the world. And I feel like you're coming to realize that what this person has to offer feminine is good enough. So I feel this energy, you're, like I said earlier, these energies that you might not be aware of and you're coming to become aware of them, I feel like you are. That whatever has happened in your past, I feel you're coming to understand it in a point, to a point that it doesn't have a hold over you anymore. Because the work that you've been doing to clean up your act and focus on healthy boundaries and help healthy connections is going to start paying off for you in the month of March. Feminine. So that's super. I'm getting a message of if you're if you haven't been moving in the direction of maintaining healthy boundaries for yourself in your life, there could be certain people, Pisces, that are holding you in a certain pattern of self-neglect and not self-love. So these people throughout March, and let me know in the comment section below if this res is resonating. Uh, and I feel like it's um, girlfriends <clears throat> that you've been partying with. And I feel like you're in the process of reevaluating the payoff that you get from those relationships and starting to veer your attention away to love for yourself and really developing that love for yourself and 
what it takes in everyday life to take care of yourself, um, Pisces feminine, in the way that ultimately you feel supportive and you feel nurtured from within. So that's, that's a message. So the masculine has the hanged man in reverse and judgment. So yeah, what I was saying earlier, he's the masculine in March is coming to realize that this internal process that he's been going through is paying off. And with the Knight of Cups, he is coming from a place of offering you this untethered rawness and his truth, which is wonderful. Um, for you, feminine, to be able to meet him in that place, I feel like some of your old habits and patterns are going to need to fall away for you guys to be resonating on the same level in your life and do healthy things together. Let's see what that outcome card is. The Four of Pentacles in reverse. So I feel like this is coming from, can I feel this energy moving from the masculine towards the feminine in March from the masculine side where he's, he's not holding back anymore because he wants to communicate to the feminine. Um, he's not afraid. I feel like a lot of fear has been released and he's standing in his truth and what he's about and what he stands for. And if that resonates with the other, whomever the other is, then great. And if it doesn't, then great. Um, and he is has really come to a place in his life where he's truly okay with that. Um, and he wants to surround himself with people that honor who he is at his core level and recognize him in that way, in his truth. So great. I want to pull for an additional message and usually these additional oracle cards pull out more information from the tarot cards a roomy oracle from alana fairchild deck make sure you're getting enough rest pisces in the month of march whatever energies are swirling around i just got that additional message for you take the time to self-care and self-nurture so that you feel well rested this month <laughs> and then you can arise it's called arise i'll read for for you from the book it's number 13. There's a poem. Wings of hope languish from lack of use. When wings dissipate and weaken, life begins to lose its value. Every cell in your body is created to rise to challenges. Your life is meant to confront everything that holds you captive. Don't sit at the bottom of the well not caring about salvation. Listen to the voice within calling to you. Reach for eminence beyond your own maturity. Love that. I'll also read to you the sacred honoring ritual because these are so beautiful. I love them. 
Stand up and turn behind you. Say aloud. With gratitude and deep soul daring, I choose to say thank you and goodbye to my past. What has been, has been, and is no longer to be. I am at peace with this, for what has been is nothing more than fertilizer for life to flourish now. With complete forgiveness and acceptance, I allow this letting go to happen. With all of my heart, I ask for unconditional love to assist me in this sacred surrender now. Turn now to face forward. Say aloud, I invite in life. I invite in love. I invite in what is required for my own spiritual success and thriving divinity. Through unconditional love and divine mercy, through the guiding spirit of my soul brother, Rumi, may this now be so. Then place one hand on your heart and say aloud, In this present moment, life thrives. It is within this thriving grace that I choose, excuse me, that I choose to place my consciousness now. I am an angel ablaze. I trust in the benevolent divinity guiding my way. Place both hands in prayer, and when you are ready, simply bow your head for a moment. You have finished your honoring ritual. Wow. I feel like that was a message for both, but especially the feminine... um, bringing in this energy of the Page of Wands, um, releasing this fear of present love that's based on, the fear is based on something that you've experienced in your past. And I feel like the Rumi Oracle message was helping to guide you to turn around and bless your past <clears throat> and put it where it needs to be. Sorry, my voice is struggling a little bit. Um, so that you can find your voice. And the level of unconditional love that your heart wants to reside in. I feel like that is part of your process, Pisces Feminine, for the month of March, so that you can more fully accept and reside in this King of Cups energy, which is solid and and flourishing and knowing that he deserves love and he's willing to let it in and accept it and receive it. (laughs) 